Hello everyone, I'm Grandmaster Justin Ichikawa from the Tiawasa Karate Studio, and here's today's Martial Arts Monday tip. Hello everyone, this week we're going to be talking about the Kama. Uh, there's a whole lot of different things you can do with the Kama. I feel like the Kama is probably the easiest weapon for beginners to start with because it's closely related to hand techniques. Uh, you do have two separate ones, each in one hand. You can relate them a lot to bottom fists, to punches, to hammer fists. All kinds of different moves are very similar to the usage of the Kama. Uh, so the way the Kama works is it's a bladed weapon. So the main emphasis of all of your cutting and striking power, the blade is going to be on the bottom half and the tip is going to be the pointed end where you would do a lot of your stabs and punches and pokes. Uh, the top end of the comma you're not really going to use a whole lot. It's going to be more involving the blade underneath and the tip forward. Uh, you can also use sometimes the, the bottom handle part to do certain strikes uh, to kind of emphasize a little bit of blocks. You can do that too. Uh, but the main focus is probably going to be in the blade portion of the weapon. Uh, so what we're going to do today is I'm going to show you some kind of cool tricks to do with the uh, with the comma. They're a little bit more advanced, but it's kind of a good way. It's like the best first advanced trick you can do uh, once you kind of get the concept of how do you do different cuts. Uh, so what I want to do is this is a finger twirl. Uh, as I do a finger twirl or a finger roll, uh, there's two different ways you can do them. The beginner way to do them, uh, you would basically take your three fingers uh, right here, leaving the single index finger sticking straight up in the air. You want to take the comma and put it between the middle finger and the first finger, okay, as the three fingers are flush against each other like that. So the concept I want to do is I want to basically take the middle finger and I want to take the first finger and I want to push them, one pulling one way and one pushing the other way. So I'm doing a push and pull action so I can rock the comma up and down. Okay, I want to start kind of in the center, higher center of the comma. So I'm going to basically take this middle finger and first finger and I'm going to push them. The idea is I'm going to push them and it's going to roll around my first finger. So if I do it slow motion style, I'm going to push the comma down. It's going to roll over my first finger and then once it gets around, my thumb is going to catch it and my whole hand is going to catch with it. Okay, so once more, I'm taking my middle finger. My middle finger is pushing. My, my first finger is pulling. So it's pushing and pulling. It's rolling all the way around the first finger. I'm going to catch it in my hand. Okay, so all I want to do is if I do it quick, I kind of want to get a little bit of wrist action so it kind of helps the momentum of the comma bring, it, bring itself all the way around. So I'm basically going to take that middle finger, I'm going to push it and roll it all the way around so it lands comfortably in my hand. You don't want to force it and make it super fast until you get it a little bit more comfortably. Okay, so just every now and again, just kind of walk around the house and just kind of work on twirling it, roll around with that first finger, just concentrate on it, nice and relaxed, nice and chill. Sometimes you get it comfortable, sometimes it'll be a little crooked, but eventually you're just going to get it nice and smooth so it'll roll around that finger. Okay. The hardest part that uh, most of my students have is when they push, they kind of get in their own way. Their fingers get caught up and kind of jammed. So what you want to try to do is make sure when you push, as I push, I release this grip. So my first finger is the only finger that's sticking down just like that, and the rest of them are kind of out flat, almost like I'm making a shadow puppet of a dog. Okay. So my fingers are going to be looking kind of like this with the finger pushed that way. Okay. So if because these three fingers get in the way. It's going to mess up the flow of the common and won't work out very well. The more advanced way to do this roll is to do it without pushing the fingers. You're just using the momentum of the comma coming down and it's flicking up. So as it flicks up, it's still rolling over the first finger. So it's the same concept I had of rolling over the finger this way. The only thing different is I'm using it without the push. I'm bringing it down, rolling it over the first finger, and I catch it in my hand. So I'm just pushing it down. As I release, that finger is just going to stick out all by itself. It's going to roll all the way around and I catch comfortably. So like I said, that release of these fingers, everything except the first finger is very important. You got to get good at just keeping them straight. So you can even practice just doing this over and over again. Okay? So I'm, uh, as I just do the more advanced version, I'm bringing it out, I'm flicking it up a little higher, letting it comfortably roll over the first finger. Okay? That's the finger roll. So we have it the basic way, three fingers in the front, rolling it around. The more advanced way, bringing it down. Okay, what they'll allow you to do is you could do cuts and pokes and strikes. You could twirl around the finger and kind of go into other moves. Okay, so it's a very good transition move. It looks very flashy, and if you have kind of iridescent, flashy commas, it even looks that much better. So we call that the finger roll. Thank you so much for watching this Monday martial arts tip. Please tune in every Monday on our website at tosakarate.com in our blog section. We'll be posting videos every Monday, so make sure you tune in. If you have any comments or concerns or questions about any video that I've shown, I'll leave a link below to send a direct text to me. Also, if you have anything that you want to see, you could also send that text to me also. If you want to see some weapon work, some sparring drills, some kicks or block or hand techniques, I'll be more than happy to show that to you. You could also follow this link below to follow us at Facebook and also to follow us on Instagram. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next Monday. Tongsu!